Mine's having a blue video. Your mouth is blue. <laughs> you already you already had cake. No, I just took some like some cream. That's what. The evidence is on your teeth. I just took some cream. But the evidence is on your mouth. I you can't. You can't. You can't tell me that. Your tongue is blue. <laughs> Hey, it's blue. Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead and eat your lunch. You all can have some cake afterwards. No, do not wipe your mouth with your shirt. <laughs> the beauty of homeschooling. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That was just funny. He said, Mom, after we eat lunch, can we have cake? His whole mouth is blue. He already had cake. <laughs> Why are you asking me? Can you have cake? And your mouth blue. From the die. Oh, okay, that's funny. So anyway, um, I posted um a question this morning about homeschooling because I get that a lot. I uh get that question about well, how do I start homeschooling? Um and I don't want this video to take like forever in order to do but the first step the first step to homeschooling is to know the laws in your state about homeschooling um, and that's that's anything with anything you want to know the law so the first step is to know the law um, about homeschooling in your state and which below I'm going to there's a link there there's a link that you can uh, look at and you'll find you know a lot of a lot of resources even forms forms that you can um, print out that has the section code blah 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 that you need now from ages 7 to 16 you know by law you're required where you know your children are to be in school being educated so therefore those with children between the ages of 7 to 16 you want to make sure that you have those forms in place for yourself you know you want to start like a little folder to keep all of those things in so just in case now I live in in the state of Illinois so um you know we have a lot of freedom here when it comes to homeschooling and probably because the public school system is not that great so they figure like hey if you can <laughs> homeschool your own kids fine as long as you you know follow the standards um, however in other states it may be different so you want to know know those things for your state and what I did was uh, I created a folder to keep all of all of those things in um, just in case you have someone come to your door you know like a truant officer and say hey you know you have a, a seven year old or a child older that should be in school why are they not registered for school and then you know you don't have to let them in your home or whatever but you go and get your little folder and you show them here um, you know, I am homeschooling my my child or my children, and under the said law section so and so, blah blah blah, and they leave. They leave you alone, and you continue to do what you were called to do with your children and educating them. So that's the first step. Um, I will create other videos about. Um, you know the the next thing to do because um, there are people want to know hey my, my time management uh, scheduling curriculum you know that's the biggest thing uh, and if you have those things down then you're pretty much set so the law your time management and scheduling and your curriculum that you use for your children and then you're you're set so stay tuned to the other videos that I have up. I will do my best to have videos up at least once a week about um about those things. So like I said, the next one will be about time management. Well, no. Curriculum. Then time management. 
because you'll be smooth sailing um, from there. Then, you know, little tips and things that, you know, like things that, that, that we do. The good thing about homeschooling is you tailor it according to how your family operates. Okay. This is not, um, you know, like this huge whoop de do of, uh, you know, like in school, you know, we have to do this and this at this time and this and that time. You have to be flexible. So whatever works for your family, um, that's the beauty of it. You can work things around that. So until next time, we're about to go ahead and have lunch because after lunch, guess what? Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I'm about to teach sex education yeah I have an 11 year old and a 8 year old that's about to be 9 a 7 year old that's about to be 8 and believe me in these days and times you must get to them as early as you can before the world does and teach them about sex education um, morals, conducts, and values. Because if you don't, ooh, it's scary. All right, so until next time, peace.